Well, thanks for joining us. I thanks. mean, you are hosting a little show, so thanks for coming in. No, absolutely. Thanks for having me. How are you feeling so I far? I feel nervous. I feel excited. I feel um, anxious. All those uh, feelings, uh, if I didn't have them, I don't think I'd be you know, really living and feeling this moment. So, uh, yeah, lot, lots going on with me, and uh, I'm looking forward to it. Something that I've never done before. I've never hosted anything before, so this is very new to me. Uh, the audience skews younger than oh, I, younger. Uh, I generally have come into my, uh, my shows, so um, it's a challenge. I don't know if you know, but it's the 10-year anniversary of, of, a, of an incident that happened at the VMAs. Uh, what, what, what is that? Is that that the, would be the Kanye West. Was that 10 Taylor years ago Swift. already? That was 10 years ago. I felt like that was yesterday. Was it 10 years? Um, yeah, that's crazy. Um, so I'm hoping things kind of, you know, at these award shows, these things happen. So as a comedian, I, I'm kind of hoping something kind of out of the out of bounds happens so I could comment on it. That's what I think they're looking for is a, a unfiltered view of the VMAs through my eyes. Maybe what you guys might be thinking at home, watching. Hopefully, I'll kind of pick up on that and and uh, and inject into the show. So um, yeah. Anything you want to stay away from? I know you don't really don't do politics. I don't do politics. I don't think uh, people really want to hear it. Um, I'm just there to make. Uh, uh, People laugh on the the observation of the evening. Famous uh, or memory from the VMAs growing up for you? I think it was uh, Prince and his outfit with that yellow outfit he had with the back missing. I don't know if I could refer to it. His butt was hanging out. Uh, yeah, that was my. I mean, the, the confidence you have to have to pull that off. I mean, uh, and it worked. You know, he turned around. and You're like, oh yeah, no that. <laughs> That fits. I don't think any other human being could walk around with their with their butt hanging out and 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 pull it off, but Prince. But that was that was my moment. And you're a big movie star too, right? Oh now. yeah, big. big movie star. <laughs> <laughs> you are though. I mean, yeah, I'm getting some Irish, movie parts. The yes. Irishman, right? Yeah. Now. Yeah. That's, how was that? Uh, it was great. Uh, it's coming out um, this year. Uh, there's no release date to it yet, but. Uh, I play Crazy Joe Gallo, it's a mobster movie, uh, Pacino's in it, De Niro, Pesci, Keitel, Scorsese's directing it, Ray Romano, there's just a, if you would have told me this movie was going to be made 21 years ago when I came out to LA, I would have told you you were crazy, plus that I was going to be involved in it some way, it just, it was never on my vision board, um, <laughs> by the way, I don't have a vision board. Uh, <laughs> But uh, it, it's been really surreal for me to be involved in some of these projects. Uh, I was in the Green Book, which won the Oscar this year. And, uh, and yeah, it, it's, it, for me to get the landings. Can we get a roles, round of applause? I mean, we were on stage. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm not looking for applause, people. Believe me. Um, my, my family doesn't give me any of that. Um, so, um, yeah, it's been really, I've been really fortunate to land some of these, uh, these roles in some really cool films. Want more extra? Hit the subscribe button and the bell and never miss a video.